All right, so like in the Windows operating system, you can have stuff load at startup so that you're ready to rock and roll as soon as you get uh, loaded up. You can do the same thing with PowerShell, and it's as simple as creating a PowerShell profile file. And if this file exists in a specific location, PowerShell will run it before it loads up um, the, the PowerShell environment that you'll be using. Now, here's the thing to note about PowerShell Profile is that there are different environments and there are different scopes. And let's talk about the scopes first. Basically, uh, there are four different um, levels, I guess you could say, to a PowerShell Profile. And they load in a specific order from the most general to the most specific. And by the most general, I mean if it's in this one location, it will um, load this profile for all users on a system. But if the file exists in a more specific location, such as the current user profile that you're logged into, then it will load that most specific PowerShell profile. So um, there's, I have the, I'll have them in the the, the description where those uh, different scope levels are but there's also different environment profiles so the way that you identify your profile file uh, for your specific account is by logging in and then just using the hard-coded profile variable and you'll see that this one is located in my users fern documents Windows PowerShell Microsoft PowerShell profile but if I come to the ISC and I type profile you'll see that it has a PowerShell ISC profile so PowerShell is smart enough to know which environment it's in it knows it's in the ISE here and it's in the console here and it has different profiles for the environment as well so not only uh, can you think of um, what scope do you want your pro PowerShell profile to load in you can also think about uh, the environment in which it will load so those are uh, some some of the abstract concepts of the PowerShell profile. Now let's look at how we can just make one of our own uh, user specific PowerShell profiles. So what you have to do first is actually create that file. This variable is just a hard-coded uh, string. That's all it is. It doesn't tell you anything else. It's just a path and uh, if we want to see if it's there we can use test path and provide it that string and you'll see that that file is already there I've been messing around with it but if it wasn't you could use new item and you just provide it that string once again uh, give it a item type of file and we're gonna use force and it'll generate a new file so now I wanna put stuff in that file so that I, I can immediately run it when I open up my PowerShell ISE and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this function called get chrome and what it does is counts the number of uh, chrome uh, tabs that I have open because sometimes I'm too lazy to turn my head a little bit to the right so I can just count it here right in the console that's that's the best I got so just bear with me um, and we're gonna now just add this content to our profile and the way I'm gonna do it just because I thought it'd be a fun way of doing it. I'm going to create a here string out of that content. And now I'm going to use set content. I'm going to provide it my profile path. And I'm going to provide it the profile content. And I'll run that. And now I can hit notepad and open up the profile. And you'll see that I have code in here now. When I open up my PowerShell ISE, that function should be available to me. So let's go ahead and close it and I'll reopen it loading loading okay so we should have get Chrome look at that my function is still there and we have seven tabs so that is a little bit about profiles in PowerShell and it's really handy when you have your own specific tasks that you want to run over and over again uh, within your PowerShell environment and um, you can just have it ready to go so that's it thanks for watching